Thank you very much for having me here. Uh, before coming to the conference, uh, I had prepared a <laughs> that specific uh, speech, but I decided to change it as I uh, follow previous sessions and uh, from notable and distinguished speakers and guests. So uh, my initial focus was on the, uh, the measures on how to uh, curb the uh, military aggression by Russians into the southeastern part of Europe uh, to counter this more economic and military uh, build-up uh, are, are needed. But once I follow uh, uh, previous sessions, I understood that I should give a different twist. Uh, first, let me make a disclaimer. I do not represent the government of Turkey. So, uh, uh, nor any intention to become public servant nor politician in the future. So this is from more my academic point of view. Well, uh, we understand that many issues uh, are caused in the region where Turkey happens to be as well. So, uh, so much, so many conflicts in Syria, uh, say, in the uh, Black Sea region, uh, we have had some military uh, confrontation with Russia. One of the Russian uh, aircraft had been shot, remember. So it caused many issues in the past. Uh, so on the Aegean side, we have a, you know, a chronic problems. Uh, so as a uh, academic and uh, in the past as a executive, business executive, I decided to, uh, well, while you have a big problem, you cannot build uh, more tangible uh, results or generate more tangible results. So, Turk Tur Turkey, so new, new uh, uh, saying for Turkey, Turkey is at the epicenter of many things. So uh, we have pluses and minuses. Uh, well, it's a package deal. Turkey happens to be a big player, very strong player in the region. Uh, but it is also vulnerable to many, uh, say, shortcomings. So on the economic side, uh, one of the uh, participants stated that Turkish inflation is on the way up compared to, uh, say, modern countries' uh, uh, average, which amounts to 80%, but according to some estimates, it's much higher. So next year, we have a critical presidential election even less than a year. So, so much is happening and is about to happen. So, then I was following, well, on the uh, migration issue, on other issues, uh, well, Turkey maybe, Turkey may deserve to get some unfavorable, uh, say, criticism, but, well, if you, uh, uh, dig deeper, well, without having a common ground, without establishing a mutual uh, agreement, well, unfortunately, one cannot secure a long-lasting, prosperous region. So, therefore, the, uh, as a must, Turkey and Greece must somehow establish good neighboring uh, relationship. Easier said than done. It was amazing to follow the uh, uh, defense ministers. So I wish in the, in the future our uh, minister of defense 
should be part of this, say, uh, quadrilateral agreement. So, otherwise, uh, uh, say, confronting or attempt to uh, create new frictions, uh, this purpose is not going to be served. Nobody will benefit from it. So, uh, nobody should be a spoiler either. So, uh, we should stick to the uh, international uh, law rule bound order. So, it is also critical that Turkey should obey all the uh, necessary uh, issues. But the thing is, uh, we need to reconcile our differences. So, I think my time is up. I can continue from that. <laughs>